how can we convince the Muslims, especially the non-practicing Muslims, regarding keeping a beard and wearing the trousers above the ankle? Many are influenced by the media as far as keeping the beard and wearing the trousers above the ankle is concerned. And many a times, a person who keeps a beard and wears his trousers above the ankles is referred to as a terrorist. We Muslims, we should not be ashamed in practicing our religion. We should not feel shy as far as practicing our religion is concerned. As far as the beard is concerned, there are several ahadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which stress upon keeping a beard, which stress upon the importance of keeping a beard. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 5892. Khalifu al-Mushrikeen, al-Shawarib. Do opposite of what the pagans do. Grow your beard and trim your moustaches. Now this is a commandment of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him. That we need to sport a beard. And according to all the four madahib, the Hanafi school of thought, the Shafi school of thought, the Maliki school of thought, the Hanbali school of thought, all the four madahib say that it is compulsory to keep a beard and shaving it, it is haram, it is prohibited. So we should see to it that we Muslims, we sport a beard. And as far as wearing the trousers above the ankles is concerned, there is a hadith of Abdullah Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, that is mentioned in Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 3665. That the one who drags his garment below his ankle in pride, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not look at him on the day of judgment. So, it is, so we should see to it that we wear our trousers above the ankles. As far as wearing the trousers above the ankles is concerned, there are opinions of scholars. The first opinion is that it is highly recommended. It is highly recommended to wear our trousers above the ankles. And wearing it below the ankle, it is makru. But if a person wears it in pride below the ankle, then it is haram. The second opinion is, that the trousers it is compulsory to wear the trousers above the ankles and wearing the trousers below the ankles it is haram it is prohibited certain scholars even say that besides it being compulsory it is a major sin for a person to wear his trousers below his ankles and Imam al dahabi writes in his book Al-Kabar, The 70 Major Sins, he says that wearing the trousers below the ankles in pride, it is a major sin. And if you look at the lifestyle of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, as well as the Sahaba, they wore their garment above the ankle. We have the example of Abdullah ibn Abbas, wherein our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, told him to put his pant on top, to, told him to put his garment on top until it was above his ankle. And the Sahabas, they wore their garments above their ankles. And how can a person be so sure that pride will not creep into his heart? Pride can creep into the heart of any individual. So why should a person take a chance? So that's the reason we should see to it that we wear our trousers above the ankles. Sporting a beard, wearing the trousers above the ankles, covering our head. These are signs of a Muslim. And there is a talk that is given by my father. And the topic of the talk is, if the label shows your intent, wear it. So why are we Muslims ashamed? Why are we afraid of representing Islam? Islam, it is the best religion. It is the solution to the problems of humanity. It is the most logical religion. Yet why are we Muslims ashamed of representing Islam? And we should not be concerned about what others tell us. Our main focus should be to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It should not be 
regarding the comments of people. We should not be affected by what others say. If a beard looks good on a person and if he keeps it, then he will be rewarded. But if the beard does not look good on a person and he yet keeps a beard in order to follow the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, he will get double reward. He will get more reward. If a, if a person keeps a beard and if he is called as a terrorist and he yet keeps a beard, then he will get more reward. And the media, it maligns Islam. It misrepresents Islam. It presents a bad picture of Islam. What does the media do? It picks up black sheep of the Muslim community and portrays as though these people, they are exemplary Muslims. The media, it maligns Islam. It misrepresents Islam. So many a times the media is responsible for presenting a bad and negative picture of Islam. But we Muslims, we should not be affected by the media. Our main purpose should be to follow our religion and we should be proud to be Muslims. We should not be afraid in order to represent our, our religion. We have the example of the Sikh. Sikhism is a religion wherein they have certain practices and one of their key practices is that they do not shave their body hair. They do not trim or shave their body hair. And they wear a turban on their head. Now these Sikh, even though they are, minor, they are a minority in many countries, yet they fight for their religious rights. In India, they are less than 3%. But yet they fight for their religious rights. To the extent that in the army, they are permitted to wear a turban because they insist on following their religion. In Canada, they are a minority of a minority, 0.1%. And they fight for their religious rights. They are not ashamed for standing up for their religious rights. They are proud to be six. They are proud to be six. So, why are we Muslims afraid in, as far as practice of Islam is concerned? We should be proud to be Muslims and we should not be affected by what the media says. Even if someone calls us a terrorist, that should not deter us from practicing our religion of Islam. Today in the world we see, especially in the Western countries, many non, many non Muslims, they are entering into the fold of Islam. They are accepting Islam. Why? Because Islam has a solution to their problems. They are impressed with Islam. That's the reason several people, they are accepting Islam and they are entering Islam into large numbers. Islam, it is the solution to the problems of humanity. Islam, it is a peaceful religion. It is a logical religion. When Michael Jackson wears his trousers above his ankles, when Michael Jackson wears his trousers above the ankles, it is considered as a fashion. But when a Muslim wears his trousers above the ankles, then he is called as a joker. Why these double standards? So that's the reason the media is mainly concerned in misrepresenting Islam, presenting a negative picture of Islam. But as long as we Muslims practice Islam, we will inshallah find success in this world as well as in the next. And we Muslims, we should present a good picture of Islam. And we should have good character. If you look at the lifestyle of Abdullah Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was known for his good character. We Muslims, we should not lie, we should not cheat, we should not 
do things that are wrong we should not bribe and if we have good character we will give a good picture and image of Islam I hope that answers your question